Black Friday 2021 is here, and we're here to maybe make your life a little easier with this roundup of good deals for some of our favorite gaming things. Now, keep in mind, most of these deals are focused solely on North America, and it's a mix of online sales and a couple of brick and mortar store sales. Deals are subject to change though, and stuff is generally gonna be changing quite a bit from Thursday, November 25th, to Cyber Monday, the 29th. So we'll link what we can in the description below. Uh, we have a lot of links and try to keep it updated and stuff. Also, full disclosure, this video is not sponsored by any specific product or company, but clicking the links still supports the channel. Let's get started off first and talk about console deals. Yes, your biggest question, can I get a PS5? Can I get an Xbox Series X? Seems like the answer is still no. These things are hard to come by. There's shortages everywhere. Scalpers are still gobbling this thing up. So the best thing you could do is follow a bunch of Twitter deal accounts and keep your notifications on. That is 100% the best advice we can give you. On the slider side, if you have somebody in your family that still wants an Xbox at some point, get them an Xbox Series S. Those are generally more easy to come by and those usually come at around 300 US dollars. And there's some Nintendo Switch stuff. You can get a Nintendo Switch with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for 300 and a Nintendo Switch Animal Crossing New Horizons Edition for 300 bucks. Deals this year for consoles, it's really not much to be honest. But keep your eyes peeled. Every once in a while, the crazy doorbuster or a thing like that will pop up. Now let's talk controllers because having an extra controller lying around is always a good thing. Whether you just like to have one or two on deck for when one breaks or if you like to have people over for a game night. This is a good time to scoop some stuff up. Every retailer will have their own deals on controllers, uh, but some of the better ones we've seen are a DualSense wireless controller bundled with NBA 2K 2021 uh, at PlayStation directly for 55 bucks. Xbox wireless controllers are going for 50 bucks. If you're crazy and you're streaming stuff, you want an Amazon Luna controller, that's 50 bucks. Best Buy does have the Xbox Series X, S, and One controller Daystrike Camo Edition for 54 bucks. And they also got the Mario Mario Kart Pro Racing Reel Deluxe for 70 bucks. You're saving 30 bucks there. And it's worth noting that Best Buy does seem to carry a lot of the Power A accessories, like, you know, like the wired Pikachu controller, the Mario themed controllers and stuff like that. All of them are generally running a discount. So it seems like the big three retailers, Walmart, Best Buy, Target, have some decent controller and controller accessory deals running. Next, we got headsets. Now, specifically, these are a good gift for gamer friends where you don't know what else to get them. They might already have every game in the world or you just don't quite know what game they'll like, well, get them a nice headset. Thankfully, there are quite a few on sale. If they're on Xbox, the Xbox stereo headset for X, S1 and PC is running for 50 bucks on Best Buy. That's 10 bucks off. And on Amazon, it seems like generally you can get it for 46 or 47 bucks. If you want to go higher end, the very good Steel Series Arctis 7 is running for 120 on Amazon if you can scoop it. Those usually run upwards of like 170, 180 bucks. So that might be a good get if you got a player who's a little bit more discerning and wants that good sound quality and all those good features. And if they're looking for something simple, no frills, but good quality and wired, the Logitech G Pro X gaming headset is running 94, 95 bucks now, down from 130 on Amazon. Also, it's worth pointing out for Razer people, the Razer Barracuda X wireless has also dropped from around 100 bucks to 70 bucks. To be honest, we're only really scratching the surface with headsets. We'll link more if we can down in the description when they pop up. These are actually generally some of the best things you can get deals on during this time. So yeah, good luck, have fun. Now over to the big stuff, the games. You're trying to find as many games as possible, right? Well, there's a lot. So we're gonna rattle a bunch off for each console, specifically first, starting with PC. And there's even more that we can't touch on here, so they'll all be linked. First, uh, the platform, the Epic Game Store, has some good sales. Far Cry 6 for 50 bucks, Kena Bridge of Spirits for 36 bucks, Riders Republic for 45 bucks, Back for Blood for about $42, the very excellent Hitman 3 for $24, Assassin's Creed Valhalla for 30 bucks, and really a bunch more. Now, GOG, on the other hand, has a couple of pre-Black Friday deals going on with a couple of days left. If you can squeeze it in, you can get Cyberpunk if you want it for 30 bucks. Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition for 18 bucks. The awesome Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire for 10 bucks. Uh, the pretty recent Chernobylite for $24 or Horizon Zero Dawn, the complete edition for 25 bucks. There's also some really good Humble Bundle deals. If, if you've never gotten those before, you should definitely get in on them. These aren't Black Friday specific, but they do go through through Black Friday. They have a Leisure Suit Larry collection bundle. It's 10 bucks for all the games. They have a Nacon collection, 
10 bucks for a ton of games. And they also have a really good story game choice driven type bundle. Uh, it's $10 for a bundle with a bunch of stuff like Beyond Two Souls, Heavy Rain, Beholder 2, Detroit Become Human. There's a lot there. Then of course, the big one, Steam. Keep an eye out for their next sale because it's probably going to be a big one. Now, console game deals. Let's start with PlayStation. There's quite a bit. Let's start with Best Buy. They got Mass Effect Legendary Edition for 28 bucks. Spider-Man Miles Morales for 30 bucks. The NHL games on sale for roughly around 30, 40 bucks. Bio Mutant is now only going for 20 bucks. You can get Deathloop for 30 bucks and Assassin's Creed Valhalla for 20 bucks. And believe it or not, if you can snag it, the pretty recent Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, the really underrated game of the PS5 version is running for 30 bucks, as well as Hitman 3 for 20. There's a lot more and we can't cover them all, but on the Amazon side, you can also get a lot. Uh, specifically for PS5 games, Deathloop is running for 25 bucks. Madden NFL 22 for $35, FIFA 22, for $35, Far Cry 6 for $35, and the pretty awesome Riders Republic for $25. And on the Xbox side, there's also quite a bit, starting with Best Buy specifically, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is $20. Again, you can get Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy for $30. Red Dead Redemption 2 is $20. Far Cry 6 we found for $40. Hitman 3 again for $20. Here you can get Cyberpunk 2077 for $20 if you've been holding off on that. Back for Blood is usually generally running about $40. 40 bucks at Best Buy and Marvel's Avengers is 15, along with Watch Dogs Legion and It Takes Two. Now on the Amazon side, you can actually get Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy for Xbox for 25 bucks, as well as Demon Slayer for 35 bucks. The pretty awesome Sonic Colors Ultimate and the, the Launch Edition is 20 bucks, with Back for Blood at 40 bucks here. The Excellent Lost Judgment is $30, and the extremely underrated Hot Wheels Unleashed is 30. And of course, like I've been saying, many more linked in the description. But let's wrap up with Nintendo. Now, a lot of the main Nintendo games don't always go on sale, but still, there's a bunch of stuff floating around. Specifically with Best Buy, you got Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered for 20 bucks, New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe for 40 bucks, the excellent Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 is now 20 bucks, a nice little drop. Breath of the Wild is running for 40, Hot Wheels Unleashed is running for 30, and on the Amazon side, you can get Minecraft for 28 bucks. Animal Crossing New Horizons for usually around 50, Super Mario Maker 2 for 39, Link's Awakening for $39, and Super Mario Odyssey typically for 35 bucks. There's a lot more, so again, they'll all be linked, but anywhere you look, thankfully, you can at least save a couple of bucks on a game here and there. We've given you a lot to go on, so it's probably pretty chaotic out there right now, so uh, good luck, have fun, get some deals, and be sure to let us know in the comments what you got. If you got any other tips for consumers, we got a cool community here, so share the love. If you got any cool deals, let us know, drop them in the comments. If this helped you out though, maybe we hooked you up a little bit. Clicking the like button is all you gotta do. It really helps us out if we made your life even a tiny bit easier. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.